Hello guys, this is Cassian, this is Mona Vega. Today, I'll be showing you how to make a C4D signature kind of tutorial. Now, on this kind of signature, you have to give it good detail and stuff to make it look kind of 3D texture. First, let's open up a new window key. Sorry if I sound kind of choppy on this. Alright. Go to new. Make it your width by 345, your height by 132. You should get a good size like this. And minimize it really fast because I have people talking on this. Okay, when you get a good size like this, you gotta pick out a good window. Render. You can pick anything you want. I'm just gonna pick a new one that I've seen. And let me look for it since I have so many. Okay, I found it. It's a new Mortal Kombat. It's a DC game and it's Flash. You see right here, someone cut it out already. You see that. <laughs> well, edit it and press clear in that window. Then you're going to hold control. Press A to select the home picture. And drag it to the side right here. And you see it's in the square of the big table. It's a little bit too big. So I'm going to size it. Press control, shift, oh, my bad. And T. Make sure you're on the first background layer. Now hold left click and skip from the high kit. This is going to tell it's going to get detailed. Now left side is called render. Filter, render, left layer. Yeah, get a mighty point. Make it 105 millimeter prime. Make it a good size about 150 percent. Put it in the middle, anywhere you like get that good right motion. Now we're going to duplicate the thing by pressing Ctrl and J. Go to back to the first layer. And now we're going to get your brushes like this. To make the brush more smudgy style, you are going to... <laughs> Under right here on top of the window, you see a brush window thing. The best one to pick is the Sorry, it's not open. Best one to pick is the 60 pixel laser brush right here. Go to shape dynamics, make the size jitter from 91, minimum jitter 29, angle, if you anything you like, 33 is the best. Scattering, you want to make the scatter 52, count 1. And everything else, just leave it the same. Then you're ready to start smudging the signature. I know it looks like crappy right now, but this is when the fun part comes. Huh? Okay, just on the right this. Now you're going to make the layer go in with the picture. First thing you want to pick is light lighter color. Duplicate it again and make it something else. Make it 
screen. Duplicate it another time and make it color dodge. As you can see, the pictures matching mark better the detail of the render. Since we're almost done, we would need a C4D render. C4D is a good four dimensional picture that goes with the style. That's what I think about it. Let's select this section of mine. The colors usually match them pretty good. Okay, my C4D render is all right here. Pick anyone that you like. I will choose. Normal red and gold one. Control A to select the whole picture. Make that the first layer so you get it by itself like this. Then you make your C4D render lightened because it goes with the picture. Put it anywhere you like in the signature. Do this a couple more times, and you'll get the good pictures. Now select another one. Now we'll pick the. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> oh, this is a hard decision, folks. I'll pick the sky blue looking one. Since we're almost finished, let's just make it match the picture. By making it color dodge. This one is going to be underneath the flash photo, so. Drag it to under the layer one copy. Now, since we're almost finished, we're gonna go into gradient map. Sorry about that. All the way on top of the layer, we're gonna go to gradient map. Pick two colors out, one dark one and one bright one, to make the thing look good. We are going to go into green or color dodge. I recommend color dodge. Now we just need to add the border and the name. Of course, since that's the name of the flash, as you know from DC Comics, it takes a while to load. Okay. Name it flash. In the font color that I usually have. Under blending options, make your stroke one pixel of the size. Drop shadow will be 100%. Two pixels distance, two pixels size. Now we just go to lighten to make the font match its signature. And now we just need a border. Make a new layer. Press Ctrl and A. Click the whole rectangle. The width will be by that first after this. Get your color to black. Make it a three. Switch back to your regular color and make it a one. And here you go. Your C four D signature. These could be really good and updated and the good I like to thank Photoshop CS3, this one that I use, and have fun making them. Thank you for watching, this is Catherine, and also known as Dayton. Thank you.